Alright, all my Detroit Piston fans and all my Detroit fans, all my Motor City Sports Talk fans, make sure you guys go check out Piston Mike. We got him over 100 followers, so make sure you check him out. Everything Pistons, man, he gonna hold it down and do his thing just strictly on the Pistons thing. You know, I got the lines of Pistons, but man, we always trying to help people get their channel up. Let's get him to 200 next, 300 next, 400 next, 500 next, and let's get him all the way to a rack so he can start making that bag. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you go over to Piston Mike as you see it on the screen. Let's get him to 200, then 300, then 400, then 500, and the whole shebang. Peace. All right, man. Uh, it's like a prequel to the free agent spotlight. We on we on our way towards that, man. But uh, Spencer did with he if he did return to Detroit, he would want 125 million, millions of millions of dollars. So, um, well, he want that neighborhood. So Spencer Daly suggests he had stayed with the Nets for 125 over five years. Okay, um, and I guess that's what he would want on the open market. So, let's talk about a certain video and let's say per se. You can move Killian for whatever you get him. A box of rocks, a box of crackheads, a box of meth. Whatever you get for Killian Hayes. A box of cotton swabs. And you can plug Spencer Dillwood there. Where would you do it? It says, free agent to be Spencer Dillwood because he, he, he can opt out his deal. Has officially put pressure on Nets GM Sean Marks in an interview with Sports Illustrated Howard Beck over the crossover. Dillwood, he said he's willing to return to the Nets, but share the contract numbers he, he, he needs to see from the, the stay in Brooklyn. 125 over 5 million years. That's wild. That's wild, bro. So like, what, $25 million a year? Even if the Nets meet deal with the action fight, it's not guaranteed the 28 would be back. Quote, the Nets come to the table and talk like that. They're aggressive and saying, hey, you know, we got five over 25 uh, for you. Like what I stay, there's a high likelihood that I go back to the Nets. Did with he did emphasize how much he loves being a Nets. He admitted that the culture and the vibe here he cherishes. He wants to stay. Uh, and because of that, 28-year-old explains, Nets owner Joseph Tsai, or Clippers owner Steve Bar Ballmer, can make it happen. He said, I love being in, New York, being, in New York, being in New York with the Nets. I have established a kind of vibe there. I love my teammates. I have, uh, excuse me, established a kind of culture there. I'm friends with the guys. I'm, it's very familiar. It's come, you're coming with three years over 60 million. Well, everybody's coming with from, for three years over 60 million, right? Now, if you come with five over 25, like, oh. Steve Ballmer and Joseph Saw are very, very literally rich owners there. Like way up there, uh well up here, and all other owners are like somewhere joshing around, whatever. And obviously still being there, I'm still wealthy, still big time people that I can learn from. But those two obviously separate themselves and can do whatever they want with the luxury tax. We are just going to find out, you know, it'll turn it'll turn out to be to be a free agent. He ain't even that good, bro. He always fucking did you. We drafted him in Detroit. Check out my Detroit channel. Mercy Sports Talk. We talk everything over there, right? He ain't even that good, bro. He's never proven to be able to stay healthy. When he's good, it's in spurts. I mean, good over a course of t a course of a, a course of time. The most game he played eighty games. Yeah, uh, in 20, 17, 18 with Brooklyn, he averaged twelve point six points a game, six point six rebounds. You you're you're paying him. Well, we on Detroit channel. Sorry, we we paying him. We paying him to. We paying him based on the potential. Can he stay healthy? He couldn't stay healthy in college. You pay him based on. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even pay him three years, sixty million. You know, he. You don't get healthier as you get older. He's been injured his whole fucking career. Okay. You know, in the year before last, he played good. Twenty point. Well, seventeen twenty. He played twenty points a game. 6.8 assists, but he's not the type of player I'm paying. He's a guy that's gonna be a six man and give you a burst off the off the bench. That's what his that's what his medical history say. That's what his medical history say. So, like I said before, I six five ideal size, but he's smoking fucking crack. He's smoking crack sideways to think he worth that amount of money. Hell no. Nah. If anything, I sign trade on two the Clippers, and the Clippers would need to sign trade because they don't have a cap space. But you, I wouldn't put my, I wouldn't put my hopes in this dude. He always injured. Some with that knee. Some with that knee, and he made like eight hundred forty-one million. Oh no, he made eleven million. I don't know. I wouldn't pay him. They just pay him three years for thirty-four. He got injured. I'm good. I'm good. If anything, I'm signing and trading him. Well, won't this guy? If he stay healthy, then yeah. But then you still drafting him based off potential. You're still drafting him based off potential. Now, if he now if he stayed healthy and he showed that um he can stay healthy, and he can put up those numbers he put in seven was it 17, 18 he put up whatever he put up twenty points a game. 
then yeah, but I, I feel what he's saying. Like anybody getting uh twenty hundred million dollars max contracts, but he don't get getting that he and it don't look like he'll ever make an all star team. So I see what he come back the 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 bar is so low for paying guys in the NBA. It's very low. And I understand his frustration with, with getting with getting that type of contract. I get it. The bar is super duper low, so why why can't I get the bag like everybody else? You know, why why can't why can't I get 125 million? You got guys, you know, who ain't gonna never make an all-star team making a hundred million dollars at the the first max they get. I get it. But still, I would rather have Killian. I mean, even though Killian had a hip injury and the hip is is uh is very, very uh it's very, very uh it's very hard to come back from but a young he could bond. I'd rather take my chance with Killian over Spencer Dewitty. Because it'd be just like Spencer did we we get to roll and we get to win or something. Oh my knee, my knee, my ankle, my knee in my ankle. I need a hundred and fifty million dollars. But we can sell out right now. You know, so like I said before, man, these these dudes, man. I get why they why they imagination or they they number so high, astronomical high, cause a lot of these dudes get into the money, you know, but um but honestly, man, um, nah, I'm good. I'm good. So I'm going to try to let me know in the comment section. I may or may not check it. I want to get to this comment section. Free agents y'all want to spotlight you want to see this year. And I'm going to kick that off real quick. So uh, got some player options in there. Chris Paul, Kawhi Leonard. We know that's not happening. Neither one. Mike Conley. Y'all y'all was member of uh, y'all boy, Everything King. I think he was pushing uh Mike Conley, Mike Conley, I said, you be a fool. And Conley did shit in Utah. They like him, but he ain't did shit for $30 million a year. Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan, Otto Porter, Victor Oladipo, Goran Dragic. It's time for Oladipo to retire. He always hands you, but get your money. Tim Hardaway Jr., Dennis Schroeder, Evan Fortier, Danny Green, Eagle Dollar, Oubre. It goes on. Justice Winslow, Patty Mills. It goes on and on. Um, Norman Powell, like him a lot. Montrez Harold. Lonzo, Ibaka, Lou Williams. We're going to start that shit today. Tonight is the night. Tonight, Chris Dunn. Like them a lot. Alfred Payton, Gary Temple, Frank Kaminsky, Zach Collins, Bobby Portis, Malik Monk. Y'all boy, Stanley Johnson. I like TJ McConnell, Biz, Mac, Biombo, John Collins. I throw the bag at John Collins. What y'all talking about, dog? Throw the bag at him. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys say. I would say a hard no on Spencer did with it. He's smoking crack, talking about $120 million. Boy, would you boss up and get this money? Would you boss up and get this money? Nah, I'm good. Hey, let me know what you guys think. Check Detroit Pistons to our playlist out. Don't forget, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're going to kick off. If I get to it today, I should be able to. The free edge spotlight for the Pistons. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram in the description. Want to make a financial donation? Cash out, Good 313 PayPal link there as well. Best way to donate, share, share the video. But if you want to reach out, video requests, advertise your business on the channel, chop it up. Twitter is the fastest way. Probably really the only way I check. Facebook sometimes too. But I appreciate it. Peace.